Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is our wonderful Cities Skylines campaign in the campus expansion. The Bluff Trade School is happily ticking along. We've got one academic work, with a bit of luck we'll have another one next year. Um, we have some problems, which is that these guys are saying they don't have enough goods to sell. Um, which I think is because, I mean we provided them with goods, right, when we started making... Uh, where's it gone? <clears throat> One of these, one of these factories, that one, yeah, is making these plastic products, which we're selling. But apparently we don't have enough. So um, the first thing we're going to do once we return to the freaking roads is we're going to set up a, uh, a farming, farming setup. Uh, and that's going to produce some commercial goods that we can sell in our shops. But now I have been told, I, I seemed to remember that roundabout sucked. Like, I thought I knew that that was, like, established city's wisdom. That is completely false, apparently. You should use roundabouts. And apparently, one good way to do it is to use um, highways to make the actual roundabout. I've read a couple of guides, and I, I inquired on Twitter. So if I make a roundabout, let's... Kind of make this nine units ish, and then nine units again, something like this. Nine again. All right, we'll need to clear out a bit more space here, and then okay, so nine this way, and up to level. Seems like way less than nine to get back. It's, it's not going to be a perfectly round roundabout. It's, I mean, it's not. It's not terrible. Let me try that again. Okay, so there, apparently it's about roundabouts. And the other thing that makes them all go on one side of the road is if they're all trying to turn the same way, you have to kind of spread where you have stuff more. So I guess if we have an industrial area over here, that will help compensate for the fact that everyone at the moment is trying to go either to Meadow Hell or to like import and export. What we can also do to help, I think, is having more places where things can enter and exit the city. Like this main through fair here could have another connection here, which would make sense because we're going to have the urban industry here. So maybe the connection will run in here or something like that. But for now, let's work on building a four lane highway with a sound barrier. Or do we just want a highway with a sound barrier? Yeah, this is a bit smaller. Let's go with this one. Okay, so. Step one. It's got to start kind of next to this. Is this the one I want? A freeform road? So we'll go nine up. And then across. Nine across. Oh, it kind of automatically curves the same amount. That's what I want. Okay. There we go. That's, it's not perfect. It's pretty darn good though. Okay, and so now, let me open the Steam Guide again. Okay, so I'm looking at a, oh God, why did I just delete? I think it was just a house. Was it a house? Ah, no, it's this road. Okay, <laughs> I should put that back. There we go. And rezone this. Cool. Um, sorry about demolishing your your homes where you live, people. Um, so, I think this can still be my one-way setup. So the thing is, yeah, how do I do this? Maybe I have one point where they go in and out. Like this. Ah. Ah. Yeah, let me... Uh, let me just move this for a second. It can be the entrance to the city. It can go here. Don't want to demolish that. No. Okay, fine. It can go up here for a second. We'll, we'll move it back. Um, so we could try that. It would simplify things here. And then what? You have a, a one-way junction here. Except no one should be wanting to go left here. So we'd fiddle with... Why have I got garbage up? Why can't I close it? There we go. So we fiddle with this one. 
and make them all go straight on. Yeah, good. And now up here, we just need another kind of connection here. We'll make it a full on proper connection. And a proper connection here. And a proper connection here. Okay. It's a three lane um, roundabout, which might not be ideal. <clears throat> but let's see how this runs. And because it's a highway, there are automatically no traffic lights. You, the entrance to the city arch, should be at the, at the mouth of the roundabout. Yeah. That's looking pretty good. It's There's still, you know, congestion. One other tip I was given was um, if you have too many people trying to go in one specific direction and it's getting overloaded, add in, like, side roads. So... Like right now, let's look at the routes here. How do I do that? I go here. Okay, so most people, how are people just going to here and stopping? What? Okay, yeah, this, this is causing a huge problem. So how about, how about we change this up? Yeah, because of that traffic light. Well, what first off, what about if this wasn't a traffic light? No, 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 no. What about if this here was not a traffic light? Maybe that'll make it run better. But the problem is it's going from six to two lanes. So maybe this whole thing becomes a highway. The problem is I can't inter... This first one I built, some, for some reason, if I demolish this, I can never replace it. But yeah, how about if this whole thing becomes a highway? Like that. Some people just want to leave, apparently. <laughs> and then... This... Could be a four-lane highway? I think four-lane highways are still one direction. Okay, so the problem is everyone wants to go in this lane. Now, that's because... <clears throat> not because the AI is broken, but because they all want to go straight ahead. <clears throat> so we need to teach them that there are more options for straight ahead than this one lane. Well, they actually... They appear to be using this lane to go straight ahead and left. Which makes no sense. So if they want to go left, we can use a off-ramp here and then take it underground but go underground like straight away no okay uh off-ramp that goes straight underground with a curve there we go okay and then that Continues to curve round over here. Comes back up. And rejoins over here. So if you want to go over there, you can just do this. And sneak off here. Let's see if they do that. Let's clear traffic. So we can get a kind of representation of what it's like in its current state. I hope you enjoy this, by the way. I'm kind of enjoying the... Uh the traffic management side of things is, is pretty fun. Right, obviously. <laughs> For God's sake, men, don't park here. Don't know why I'm assuming they're men, but whatever. <laughs> don't park there, whoever you are. Alright. So this this area, it seems to be functioning pretty well. I need to wait for guys to get in here. Yeah, every time I clear the roads, my industry stops making money and or everything go my income goes to pot. Uh need to of these. That's fine. So we're finishing up all that oil. Lovely. Purifying the ground. That's how we sell it. That's how we uh, we pitch it to our people. I'm surprised we have this lack of goods problem. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. The lack of goods problem. was. I was thinking, like, why don't they just import? But, of course, that is what they're doing now. 
they couldn't, they had a lack of goods because we'd screwed up their imports. There was no way to get goods to here. Except, I guess, by taking them off here and taking them all the way around, which obviously is a highly inefficient way to do things. So we've got a power problem because I broke a connection up here. That should all be good again. Not quite. Now it is, though. Good. So this is looking to work really well. Ah, except people coming in here have problems because this one has traffic lights. No traffic lights. You do give way at the sides, but no traffic lights. Let's see if that successfully clears this backlog because there's quite a significant backlog. We might need to make this a two-lane in. But they are, you know, the traffic's moving. It's not, it's not deadlocked. Let's... No, it's, it, they're not reducing the number of people that are coming, trying to come through here. So yeah, I think this has to be... Let's make it a two-lane highway. Slope too sleep deep here. And yeah, they are now backing up. Okay. Well, let's delete that. And refactor that somewhat. So to come off, we'll go, we'll go with a two-lane highway. We wanted to go straight underground still and make this kind of quite sharp turn. It doesn't need to be pretty underground, really. And then it comes back up and in here. But it's struggling with that part. So I guess we'll do something like this. Okay, and then we will, once again, clear traffic and see how that goes. We're going to make a huge loss all of a sudden because obviously our industry trucks we were hoping to sell all suddenly get killed. But everything except people wanting to turn left was going really well. Oh, this is a two-lane, two-way. That's not what I want. Um, is there no such thing as a one-way... Ah, oh, one-way highway. There we go. Uh, how do I go underground? I guess just page down here, yeah. There we go. So this is one way. The Blake Tunnel. What should we call this? I'll call it the Rose. No, no. Who was it that suggested it? I was I was asking for suggestions on Twitter. What was her name? I know I've seen her on Twitter before. Queen. Look. Uh, look. Can I? I'm sorry, Queen. I don't know your name. This is the Queen Tunnel. I don't know how to say your name. I mean, this is the Queen Tunnel. Good. Oh, people were getting annoyed that I was using the uh, American spelling of center. So there you go. This is the town center spelled that way. Okay. Let's see how the Queen Tunnel does. Um, obviously, we need to wait a bit for the traffic to kind of build up a bit. <clears throat> and then if we have too many people trying to turn right, trying to go straight ahead here, we could do kind of another tunnel off here that merges in here or something like that. It looks like it's working, though. I might be speaking too soon, but it does look like it's working. These guys have a critical shortage of stuff to sell again. Is that one of these? Like, do you have a, you have a very bad postal service? Did we ever actually sort the postal service? I don't think we did. All right, now no backups. Okay, it's backing up here, because even though this is a two-lane road, they're only using one lane of it. Oh, not quite. They went to both. They're sometimes using both. So why are they mostly using one lane? They're mostly using this lane and then turning right further down. Okay, so if we use the mod, I think I should be able to say, hey, hey numbnuts, go... Oh, no, not there. I should be able to say, hey, numbnuts, from here, go... Oh, I haven't actually shown you me using this mod. I tried using this mod to make my weird, like triangle thing work it did not go well <laughs> but yeah i can say hey morons use both of these to go to both of those see if that works but they're still not using this lane why is that is it because maybe when they come off they're only going to that yeah it's probably i bet it's oh no they use both lanes now okay okay let's see if they can use both lanes all the way up here more are using both lanes that's good Perhaps this isn't an appropriate place for this road here. It does complicate this junction somewhat. 
It would make the hospital care down here less good if I change that. Yeah, they're just using one lane again. So why here? So because they're using one lane there because when they get here, they're in one lane. And they're in this one lane to go straight ahead. And they're going straight ahead because, I mean, there's just a lot down that end, basically. Is my understanding, anyway. Hmm. And the roundabout itself is getting a bit congested now that we've let it go for some time. So, I mean, it's mostly because they're, they're wanting to go straight ahead, but, I mean, a lot of people are still making it through the roundabout. It is still a bit, a bit gummed up, though. And even down here, yeah. So, yeah, what about eliminating this road? So this, that should simplify this junction. And more people should be able to make it across. Or, you know what? This should be merging on the other side of the road. Because that's the direction they want to go, right? Yeah, yeah. And then they wouldn't have to cross traffic, which is causing them so much problem. So much of a problem. Okay, so the Queen Tunnel is getting modified. You guys, come up. Well, first off, we should go a bit further back. The tunnel, we need a one-way. Yeah, one-way highway. Sound barriers underground aren't really needed, but <laughs> who cares? Okay, so, coming over here, then coming up here. Okay, and I think that will work a lot better because, yeah, like I said, now... Uh, and you don't need the ability to turn left there. So let's mess with that. Excuse me. Game. It's not letting me do it. They're all going to go into the left lane because they all want to turn right. No! Look, you guys can only turn right. Why can't I... Okay, here we go. You can only turn right at this one. So it should use both ends. Nice. But they have now put in a traffic light here. Which is unacceptable. No, wrong tool. You should give way on the right, though. When necessary. Okay. It's better. But again, they all want to go into this lane. So why is that? And this, this is also not great. <laughs> they all want to be in this lane. They're not turning right here. They're going to here. Well, actually, they're mostly just being bottlenecked right here. Hmm. I don't understand why they all want to be in this lane. They're not all turning left, but some of them are turning left. And if some of them are turning left, why aren't some of them going in this lane? If I go... If I look at this... Yeah, why aren't people going from here to here and here. Maybe if I just do that, it will fix it. Mm, not really. I do this as well, maybe. People shouldn't be merging into the left side of this road. Okay, so we've got some more people coming down on the right now. But they're still, they still all want to be in this lane. So let's... I don't understand why they all want to be in this this lane here. Is it because I suppose mostly No, because there's plenty of them that should be wanting to turn right and go up here. Hmm. Yes, I don't really follow that. We could also reduce the number of junctions here, like maybe Maybe these roads don't need to connect here. Hmm. Like to reduce the number of junctions on this main road. Like if we took out... Excuse me? Oh, page up. If we took out this road and this road and replaced them with dead-end roads. Let's try that. We're going we're gonna to try and dramatically reduce the number of 
of junctions on this road. So what happens is, instead of going off on these many little junctions, what you do is you turn off here, and then you go across like this. Space already occupied? With what? I mean, with these buildings, but I want to demolish the buildings. Is it because we've got some kind of strange... What is that? What is going on here? Oh, it's because that road... Right, I left that bit of that road, maybe. Take away, take away these roads for a second. And then you get a road that goes kind of all the way up here, but doesn't quite connect. And these crossroads. Why is it saying space already occupied? These are not... Ah, oh, it's a historical building. Okay. Sometimes historical buildings have to perish in the name of progress. Okay, and then this connects down here. But then this road should be larger. Uh, at least out to here. So we'll, we'll upgrade this. There's no room because we've got our little Japanese garden. So we're going to tear down a couple of... Uh, of big offices, unfortunately, to make this work. The elementary school should not be backing onto the main road anyway. That causes too much traffic. The medical clinic, likewise, should not be backing onto the main road. Um, now I can upgrade this. Good. And then these side roads. Need to make sure the side roads extend far enough down. Um, here. Good. Here. Go a bit further down. Good. And here. Let's go all the way down. Good. Okay, that way... Oh, and here. That way we have far less junctions on the main road. We've gone from... Um, what have we gone from? Like, four to one. Can I upgrade to this type? Why not? I'll just tear it down and replace it with this type then. Okay. I think that's, that's right. And now we put the office's zoning back in. Okay. And this area could be offices too. And then we're going to need to extend the high density residential a bit. And we'll put some high density over here. Let's see if that works. <clears throat> oh, we're missing some high density here. Some office here. Okay. Now we've marked with the bus routes. Oh, and there's also offices here. High density here. Low density in all these areas. Okay. That seems right. So now the problem is going to become, this This is going to become just a murder junction. But I still think by reducing the total number of junctions, it would be better off. I think probably we want to have the same number of roads in and out here. So something like that. Now let's work on the bus routes. Um, we're working on existing bus routes. So this one, let's just do them one by one. So we're just looking at the Elm Line. The Elm Line has a problem because it's in pieces. I want to... How do I do this? Drag this stop. No, I want to create a new line. I can move this stop. Okay, like this, and then there's a stop here, but it's not, like, what's, what's going on there? I guess that's another one, it's just showing all the errors for this one. So what is Elm, what is this? This is Elm something, where is this supposed to go? So it, it, oh, this is the Elm Gardens one, okay. This isn't a very important line. But yeah, picks up in a few of these places near the high density residential, like so. 
But I think that's all good. Now, next one. Meadow line has a problem because it just ends here. And it seems like it's it's predicting a new way to fix it. I don't really want it running all the way down here. Although perhaps it should stop off near the hospital. So we'll put a stop via the hospital. But then where's the stop that's making it come down here? Here, okay. You don't need that. You can stop, stop over here. And Just take that away. Okay, now this one, he goes in. Gets there. Looking okay. Yeah, stop by the garden. Okay, and this stop. There just shouldn't be a stop here. <clears throat> so where should this one be going? I'm losing the plot a little bit here. In case that isn't clear. How does it only have one dead end? <laughs> or is it that one is also a dead end? Like, why is there one dead end here? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it shouldn't be possible to have one dead end. <laughs> is it that it starts here? I'm just creating more if I try and move that. Okay, there we go. That's the dead end. So you go from here. You go around here, back up here, until the end. So if we move this... Um... I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Uh, you go out. Okay, go out here. And then this stop. Just somehow find your way to next to here. But. <sighs> um, <laughs> I'm really lost. What is this one apart from anything else? I guess that's the other line. I guess the quiet line has a stop here. No, no one has a stop here. So what is that? What is this thing? You know what? Kill that. How do I kill that? Kill this thing. The whole road? Yeah, okay. Kill the whole road. Unpause. Go Ow! <laughs> Ooh, I'm losing it. Connect here. How are you somehow managing to persist? Why do you continue to exist? Oh, oh! we level up. We're recognised now. Nice. You get a four percent exchange bonus, same student bonus. We can build a bunch of new stuff. We can build the. Oh, I scroll down right. Cafeteria, fountain, gymnasium, outdoor study, and we created coconut shoes. What? <clears throat> Made from one hundred percent recycled coconuts. When you say recycled, <laughs> coconuts. Do you recycle a coconut, or do you just use a coconut? There were two toga parties, apparently. I really don't... I don't get the fascination with toga parties. <laughs> Who cares about toga party? Okay. So. This is the elm line. It should pick people up. Here a bit as well. And sure, over here. Near the high density. And it takes people all through the quiet place. This is, this is like the main artery bus line. Okay. But now the meadow line is the one that's foobard. Let's just redo it. Now, are there any dead ends still? Yes. There are. Okay. Kill that one too. Okay, sorted. Now you have no road access. Fair enough. I'll relocate you slightly. What are you? Like crime fighting, right? You're kind of needed up here. Why don't we move you over there? Still have good access to all of this. We could do with... No, I think we're okay pretty much on, on crime fighting now. Good. Now, traffic, there's still... I mean, we got problems. <clears throat> Maybe the answer to the problem... I mean, that's the other obvious answer to the problem. We can, we can just set up more public transport to try and alleviate... I mean... <sighs> <laughs> So maybe having more people trying to go through a, a single stop, a single junction, was not intelligent, in fact. Maybe we should just bring back the many junctions. But I mean, it's kind of clearing now. 
It's just, I don't understand why they all want to go down this lane. If they weren't all coming down this lane, this area would be kind of fine. The feeding in down here is working. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take to Twitter again. <laughs> why are they all on this lane? Because there's no one, there's no particularly busy place they're trying to go. Okay, well I'll try asking. I don't get, I mean they're, they're all turning left. They do all appear to be turning left. Okay, so here, lane two, you're allowed to turn left. How about that then? But the problem is that, I mean that junction is kind of mad anyway. But now you're able to turn left here, that might make things a bit easier. Hmm. Maybe we should put a traffic light in here. I, I really, I've, I've had an aversion to traffic lights because they seem to slow things down a bit, but maybe if it avoids that kind of gridlock, it'll be better. So let's try it with traffic lights. And then you all whoosh out. You're still getting stuck somehow. The traffic lights aren't very good. But I think that's better. We kind of need a traffic light stopping them coming in from here at the same time as they're coming in from here. Maybe we should have this meeting at two different points. So like we have one junction where you can turn go left and stuff, and then another one over here. Let's try that. So this gets destroyed. And then this gets upgraded. And connected and then this becomes a small road which doesn't connect this this could be the answer to all our problems or a total disaster one of the two how about that and here you also have a traffic light okay because now now this junction isn't nearly as complicated. When they come down, they can turn more easily. This gap isn't really big enough, is it? Hmm. Ho-hum. It's kind of working, though. Like they're not getting stuck as they try and make that turn anymore. But they're still all just on this one lane, which I don't understand. Elm Gardens is level 3, we get some new gazebos. Cool. Hmm. They're using all these lanes-ish. I don't know why they also want to use this, just this lane to turn left. You can use this lane to turn left too. Are you all just turning left? No, some of you are going straight on. How about we make it so uh, you can't turn left from the center lane to force those that want to go left into this lane? That could work better. Okay, now here, you're all trying to go this way. And some of you use this lane, but very few. Oh, although that's got less long. This was backed up further, I think. We're now not doing so hot over here. Well, we have cut out a lot of our public transport. So in the next episode, I'm going to make a big effort to restore a lot of my uh, public transport. So that we have more people using that. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I will see you in the next one. Looking forward to it. It looks like we are actually solving the single lane problem here. Partly. They're still very keen on these two lanes. I guess, of course, because no one wants to go straight on here. Okay, so that being the case. Center lane. You can go either direction. How about that, then? Well, the police are using it. More people use the center lane, please. I know you want to turn right and left, but you can use the center lane to do either of those things. Now we have a big backlog here. But they are using all the lanes, which makes me very happy. Anyway, next episode, public transport. That will help. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.